Well, my name is Scott Cohen. I'm the director of special projects for ABG Tag and Track, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of American Biomedical Group. We're a government contractor. We supply uh, systems to everybody from uh, NASA to the military, and then we also sell commercially uh, into uh, like governmental entities like airports, as well as non-governmental entities like hospitals. So we're at NASA today, and we did some measuring with the BLK 360 in order to figure out how we're gonna move spaceship mock-ups around the building as they get delivered. NASA didn't really have any very good CAD plans or any good 3D drawings. So we used the BLK 360 and the Cyclone Register 360 software to generate point clouds uh, pretty much on the fly. As we were going around uh, connecting the initial point clouds, we were putting them together inside the software so we could give a really good visual feedback to the NASA staff about what we're doing. We've been using the BLK360 uh, just over a year at this point. I think we were in the, the first or second batch of uh, BLK360s. In fact, we, we liked our BLK so much, uh, and because of the support that we got from Leica uh, with the initial one that we went out and bought a second package. It's super easy to use. Uh, you know, it's super lightweight. It's, uh, it's about the size of a coffee can. I think it weighs maybe two pounds. And uh, you can just take it anywhere. You can, you can run it on a tripod, you can sit it down someplace. The stitching software, like with the cloud, as well as the visual matching, is, is really easy to use. I mean, we, we do it in the field, running on a, a Microsoft uh, Surface with a Core i7, no, nothing real spectacular, like less than three gigs of processing speed. If we came into a space like this, you'd see that we're standing in a high bay with probably a 35-foot ceiling and that there's all sorts of uh, very interesting columns and structures around that would be almost impossible to measure with a device that's not a BLK360 or a point cloud generation device. So the, the second part of what we're doing uh, with NASA beyond measuring you know, where the spaceships are going is we actually measure the inside of the spaceships. Uh, and we do that for the purpose of locating our all-track nano receiver units, which are small uh, radio frequency devices that are used to keep track of other small radio frequency devices that go on to people, more specifically astronauts. And by precisely locating the astronauts, we're able to do time and motion studies and utilization studies of the spacecraft layout. And eventually these spacecrafts are going to go into what's called the cislunar orbit, where we'll send astronauts from Earth to this gateway to live for 30 days at a time. And then eventually the plan is, is to use it as a stepping point to both the moon and to Mars. Accuracy is really important. I, I figure in the old way that we were doing it, anywhere from like, you know, a year, year and a half ago with the total stations, or really, you know, going back even before the total stations when we were just using like disto type devices, probably non-line of sight, we were getting inaccuracies of anywhere from two to three feet over a distance of like a thousand feet non-line of sight. And now with the BLK360 and the CR360 software, it tells me that over the course of 1,000, 1,500 feet, that we're getting accuracies in the eighth inch neighborhood. And that's running at a, a medium resolution. So if, if we went with a high resolution scan, we'd probably do a little bit better. So yeah, we're very happy because the, the more accurate our data is going in, the more accurate our location data is coming out.